of course, that you think of, but the next time you're suffering from a rash or allergies or especially a bout of depression, reach for a cup of herbal tea. Here to help us find the best herbal teas for your most common health problems is tea expert Martin Ekachuko. Welcome, Martin. Thank you very much. Let's talk about teas in general. How many different types of teas are there out there? There are thousands and thousands of teas available out there. It's not even funny. Uh, every single one can be an absolute new experience for you. Uh, the thing about coffee, if you really think about it, it, only you can have it one of three ways. Black, sugar, or with milk, and a combination of the three. <laughs> That's true. Right? So with tea, every single day can be new, and you can be having a different health benefit and a different flavor all the time. And I have to ask this because I get in this fight with my wife. Can you reuse a tea bag? Uh, it depends on the tea bag. If it's like a loose sleeve tea bag, sometimes you can do it depending Martin, on the you're tea. You're no help at all. Like <laughs> now I'm going to lose the bet because you'll interpret that as no. Okay, I've asked three audience members who are here to spin my wheel of tea and decide which one is the best herbal healer. First up is Gail. Where's Gail? Yay! Come on, Gail. <laughs> Gail, you got to crush that woman. You got to crush. Yay! You almost crushed that poor lady next to you. So, sorry. So, do you, have, do you have any health problems? Oh, um, sometimes my stomach. Your stomach aches you sometimes. Yeah, sometimes my stomach bothers me a lot. Do you use any teas for it? Yes, I use the white tea that my husband recommends. Okay. Uh, yes. All right. All right, here's the deal. I'm going to give you a clue, and you're going to spin this wheel, and you're going to tell me if what I spun to was the right or wrong answer for that clue. Are okay. you ready? Honest, right. you're welcome to help her out. The first clue is tea, this kind of tea, can boost your mood. I don't think you need this. <laughs> Just in general. Can boost your mood and comes from a plant that is most commonly used in cooking. Okay? okay. Spin the wheel of tea. All right. You spun it well, all right, and the, uh, so it says nettle tea. Here's the question. Do you think nettle tea is the best herbal healer to improve your mood? What do you think? No, definitely not. She says not. The definitely. correct answer is... Sage tea. You all knew that. That's good. It's, the tea seeds are shown to increase your alertness, mm -hmm. your brightness, your mood. It releases anxiety. It also has flavonoids, and those reduce the amount of inflammation that you have in your body. So, Martin, how do you recommend folks drink sage tea? Uh, with sage tea, what I would recommend is to go to your local grocery store, get some really fresh sage leaves, brew it down for about five to seven minutes. Okay. But it's a little bitter, so I actually would add a loose leaf black tea into it, mm -hmm. mix it up real nicely, and add a pinch of honey for taste. Okay, great. Sounds good. Because you won, you win a year's supply of sage tea. All right. Congratulations. Thank you. Sharon, where's Sharon? Come on up, Sharon. Oh, there's Sharon. Hi, Sharon. All right. Are you Martin? Okay. Now, do you ever have skin irritations, things that bother your the superficial layers of your body? Well, my face sometimes is dry around mm -hmm. my chin or around my nose, but then it's oily up here. Yeah. So sometimes it's hard to find the perfect find, solution. Yeah, but I'm sure you're going to tell me today. Well, we got some good ideas. <laughs> Here's your clue before you spin the wheel of tea. This tea is very high in antioxidants and has been used by South Africans for thousands of years. And guess what? It works for irritated skin. So it might help you. Good. Okay, go ahead and spin away. Spin away. There we go. There's some strong spinners today, Martin. Don't get hurt. And it comes down to nettle tea. Do you think nettle tea? Is the best tea for skin irritation? I don't think so. No. You don't think so? I don't think so. All right, let's find out. What is the best herbal healing tea for instant relief of skin irritation? Rooibos tea. All right. Nicely All right. done. Rooibos tea also high in antioxidants and polyphenols can help relieve itching which is why I love it. It can also help release some of that contact dermatitis that folks have. It's a kind of eczema where you just itching and you can't get, really get rid of it. Right. So for those two purposes, I think it's wonderful. Martin, talk to us about how you should best enjoy it. Roybo's tea, fantastic tea, outstanding flavor. The great thing about this tea is that you can actually make it into a little face mask. Uh, after five or seven minutes of actually brewing the tea, you can drain all the water out of it, create a nice little paste, and put it on your face. And after about 10 minutes, you have a fantastic antioxidant, natural antioxidant face mask for you. So it's also really good in general for, as, as Dr. Oz said, for skin irritations. Oh, great. Wonderful. And your own year supply of this. Look at the more beautiful. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, up next is Angela. Where's Angela? How are you, Angela? How are you? How are you? All right. Come on, Angela. And into the hot seat here. So, so handsome. Well, you're very kind, Angela. Thank you very much. All right, let's talk about 
Teas in general. What is your favorite one of all the ones? Here? Because we've been, Martin's been talking about all kinds of teas here. Well, there's many, but my favorite has to be chamomile. Okay, so here's your clue. You ready? You get the final one. We got two winners so far. This tea comes from a plant that stings to the touch, stings to the touch, and is best used to treat hay fevers and allergies. Spin away. Let's see what it is. All right, audience. Audience has been very accurate today. They're spinning, they're spinning, they're spinning, and it's coming down to hibiscus tea. Is hibiscus tea the best solution? Come on, help me out, guys. The best healer of allergies. No. no. You don't think it's hibiscus? I don't think so. Let's find out I if she's right. You guys. We got a lot of folks yelling other things out there. The correct answer for this is nettle tea. <laughs> Prevents hay fevers and an allergy attacks. Incredibly effective because it blocks histamine. Histamine is the chemical in the body. You know, you take an antihistamine. Yes. You know, this does the same thing by blocking those histamines. That's oh. why it works so effectively for allergies. Martin, again, what's the best way to enjoy nettle tea? You're right, Dr. Oz. Nettle tea has a one-two punch for allergies all the time. Uh, because it's so dense, make a big pot, put into your, into your refrigerator after about a few days, add some lime to it for freshness, oh. and just drink it to make sure you fight allergies. Okay. And can you use it on kids? Can you use it for children? It's 100% caffeine-free, so you can use it for the oh, entire family. Awesome. That's a great solution. Thank you. There you are, a year supply of it, Angela. Thank you for being with us yesterday. Thank you so much. Martin, you're wonderful. Thank you, Jordan. We'll be right back, everybody.